But it is, it's very interesting that you mention it because today, uh, after the retaliation came in, there was there were several uh, um, uh, American newspapers that obviously headlined the story, and they said, uh, in fact, the State Department, the U.S. State Department, then said that the U.S. has told India that in no circumstance it can violate the safety of U.S. diplomats with respect to Vienna Convention. Now, my question is, if the same is not being given to our diplomats in the U.S., then how can the U.S. expect that of us? Have we done that in the past? The second argument is that the Ministry of External Affairs is continuing to say that all these privileges that were given to the U.S. diplomats in India have been withdrawn. Why were we not on an even keel with the U.S.? Why didn't we give the same privileges that were given to Indian diplomats in the U.S.? Why were we so generous that now that we have removed them, we suddenly seem to be on an even keel. Why did that happen in the past? For instance, these barricades that have been removed from outside the U.S. Em embassy, why were, they, uh, why were they there in the first place? Well, no, let me just uh, answer, answer your question. You know, one is, and I'm, the comment which I'm making does not in any way uh, take away you know, the, what I had said in the past, mm -hmm. uh, what I had said previously, that is, that this is very, very serious and it affects not just the person, but it affects India because she is not look, look on her not as an individual, mm -hmm. but as a consular agent of India. So it's India which is important. Having said that, let me say that this is why did we not take action against the United States, isn't it? Right. This has ha number of there have been a number of cases. In one case, we had another country, which is Switzerland, which had criminal charges against a diplomat no ambiguity about that but diplomat and in fact issued a red corner interpol red corner notice that is against an absconding criminal mm -hmm. against the diplomat which is still there which is not withdrawn as far as I'm, i am aware now you have had measures taken by several other countries there's a long list so you cannot we'll have to you know what we are doing as i said is appropriate it's very comprehensive because we'll have to take certain measures on the basis of reciprocity across the board. But uh, uh, you answered board. that very diplomatically, Ambassador. No, said. I'm not being diplomatic. Did we, did we give privileges to the U.S. where we went out? Uh, because Similar diplomacy, yes, yes, uh, diplomacy we like did. you said. We did. We did. We did. There's we no did. question about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. No, we we did. did it. We did this, this barricades after 9-11 because there was a perception of a security threat. And I think that we have, in general, given the United States more privileges than the letter of the law demands. Demands. But that is in keeping, in our perception, with the fact that the United States is a friendly state. And we kind of uh, say, okay, you know, it's, it's all right. It doesn't really matter. But when this kind of thing happens, that reciprocity can kick in. And the Americans have no reason to complain. Because no, I would what like we to have withdrawn let me, uh, let is me just nothing say. which we are not... So let me ask no, you, would let the me US just say. be very no, surprised no, by no, a response? No, no, no. Uh, let me just give I you think so. Uh, no, let me give you an example. What so happened the US was, would be surprised yes, by a response. I they have so. been taken back. I think so. Mm. They have been taken aback, but it's not completely. We have invoked reciprocity. You know, there was a... T our, our privileges, when I was the ambassador, suddenly one day they withdrew the tax exempt facilities for diplomats and consular agents. I insisted on that. The government took rightly backed me and we said reciprocal steps. They were taken. It's not that we have not been taking things lying down. Till ultimately they backed down and then we restored the status quo ante. But it went on for months at end. Mm -hmm. But we did take steps. So to say that we suddenly woken up and taken steps in this, it is not correct. I, I don't want to go into other examples. We have done similarly similar steps with other countries. But we have not done so in a comprehensive manner in terms of balanced Okay. Uh, Mr. Secretary, let me ask you, uh, while this debate is on, the, uh, Umar Abdullah, the Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister said that while he appreciates the action that has been taken by New Delhi, but by removing those barricades, uh, perhaps things have been taken way too far because that was also a security concern. No, that with was a kind of, no, no. So my question is, is that argument right? Are we taking it uh, a step to, you know, um, uh, being a slightly... Um, Overzealous, no, for I, lack of a better I, I, word. I don't think we would have taken any step that would compromise the safety and security of the diplomats. The police post remains there. This was simply that the road, which is a public road, uh, uh, was appropriated by the Americans uh, because it was convenient for them. It was a road from which they could go from the office to their residences mm. and so on and so forth, and uh, it was close to traffic. 
and so if it has been opened up there's nothing wrong with that so it was a privilege in the first yes it was a privilege yeah. it was unwarranted which was unwarranted yes my my question also to you is that when we talk about reciprocity uh, there is another argument which was raised and we spoke about this yesterday as well by bjp's yashwant sinha saying that if they are arresting our diplomats in the united states then under um, uh, section 377 as per the supreme court ruling now which has recriminalized homosexuality any companion of a us consulate officer or a us <laughs> diplomat and my companion uh, you know somebody being from the same sex should also be put behind bars would that be overstretching what new delhi is doing right now absolutely i think that's where i think we should have a sense of proportion no i don't agree with that i think that uh, it, they, there's no need to reach that stage mm -hmm. but that threat should be implicit that you know we have bent our laws to accommodate their preferences for example the americans do not give uh, visas to grown up daughters of our diplomats they said no it is independent they do not give visas to dependent parents of our diplomats or staff members because that's not in the norms that is our social norms they don't respect those they say it's not covered so where is the obligation for us to accept their social norms if that is against our law I mean, we have to be a little tough in these matters, not namby pamby. But tell me something today, and I think today, it's namby pamby is the not the correct word. I think maybe it's it not, is disgraceful that we have a Victorian thing, which is not, you know. No, that's a separate. That's a no, separate no, no. issue. No, no, oh, I'm sorry. That's a separate issue. No, no. That let me complete. I'm issue. not interrupting what you're saying. Just please refrain from doing so. What I'm saying is that there is a view. There's a debate on in India. We'll take. Uh, we'll take that as it comes. There's a sense of outrage at. Uh, a reversal of a decision we'll take the decision will be taken in parliament but i think we should have a sense of proportion i i understand your sense of proportion that you're talking about but i will come back to the question to end this debate to the question that i began with by giving her full diplomatic immunity by the process of beginning to you know move her or transfer her are we taking an easy route out and are we going back to the same uh, uh, you know order of um, uh, perhaps uh, settling for a compromise there's nothing wrong in having a compromise if that is the way in which uh, neither side is seen as losing face and you resolve an issue that is what diplomacy is but shouldn't about. we be questioning the united states reluctance the only thing that they have said so far is we will look at the arrest procedure nothing beyond that unacceptable we have to resolve this issue and by i fully agree with uh, what uh, ambassador sikria said it is for them to resolve but i think we will both it's in the interest of both countries to resolve it but they have created a situation which is not of our creation and they should find measures on their own within their own system to resolve it but th what we are interested in is the end result the processes are for them to work out but just just for domestic consumption my final question do we need an apology and do we need the charges dropped would that end the standoff apart from a negotiation or a compromise ambassador secret you know i think as ambassador sen has said we need a resolution of this issue we don't need to be scoring points point scoring has been done now we need to find a resolution and i wouldn't be surprised if the transfer to the un mission has come as a result of an informal suggestion by the us side ambassador sen uh well uh, i i uh, you know i is it an hope. apology in order uh, no, from uh, the highest levels of the us administration an apology uh, for something as dis uh, as despicable and as barbaric done to an indian diplomat i in i would say that would be the civilized thing to do yeah Well on that note are we expecting a civilized response from the United States <laughs> <laughs> ambassador sen and ambassador secret thank you so much for joining me here on news night